or something like that to get the right thickness. We also have frosting sheets that will come pre-sheeted and you put them on your mat and start cutting. So the frosting sheets tend to, you can see the different um, hearts here. The hearts are done in frosting sheets and this is gum paste, is the white. And so you can do different layering and, and the, the frosting sheets are uh, really work well with buttercream frosting because they, they kind of melt into the cake, blend into the cake. The, uh, the gum paste tends to get a little more rigid and stiff. And cut just a little heart shape out here for you. Oh, oh, phew! Just made it. So, it's just basically. And, oh, yeah, shortening. Shortening is the glue that holds it all together. So we just put a little uh, solid shortening on there, and that holds the gum paste or the frosting sheet to the mat. Take it out, and then you just uh, trim out your excess. Most people put that back in the freezer and then when they're ready to decorate the cake, take it out, let it get a little flexible, and then um, put it on the cake with a little bit more frosting or a little bit of shortening or sugar water. Where do I get the fondant from? So we'll sell the frosting sheets um, near the Cricut machine and the gum paste. The gum paste will come in tubs so and you can roll out yourself. Frosting sheets, like I said, are ready to cut. What colors? Um, I don't know if we decided on all the colors. There's about this is half a dozen to a dozen colors that we're contemplating right now. And, uh, well, right now we have red and white here to show today. And we're working on a bunch of different colors. So the formulas are a little different, so we have to test each one out and make sure it cuts well. How do I store the frosting? Frosting sheets have a shelf life until you open them of about two years. So they're, just, they're starch and sugar, which has a lot of shelf life. The gum paste, and they don't have to be refrigerated. The gum paste, um, it comes in a tub, a plastic bag inside a tub, as long as you keep it sealed up. I don't know what they got, I think it's like a six month shelf life. Once you open it, you kind of have to make sure you get all the air out when you reclose it. But it's a whole different channel. You know, it's not just Thanks, Jeremy.